Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Uh, as you can see, things have changed a little bit. In my last video, or one of my last videos, everybody said, or there were some comments about echoes and things of that nature, so I switched it up a little bit. Um, hopefully this is an improvement. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, but what I'm gonna bring to you guys today is the Jimmy Church Key by Bruzek Knives, and it's made by Mr. Ryan Bruzek himself. I will flip it over and let you see the specs on the back. You can pause it there and check those out. Here is a card with his information on it here. Again, I will pause it and let you check that out. There you are. Here is the church key itself. And if you follow my Instagram page, I'm sure you've seen this. Um, I posted it on um, Facebook and some of the traditional knife groups. It's just a, a great all-around little tool, in my opinion. So, the first thing that caught my eye... All right, dead battery. So, you can see here, uh, the first thing that caught my eye was the incredible fit and finish. You can see just the transitions from the bolsters here to the actual um, handle of the tool itself is just great. The bolsters to the face of the handle cover... I mean, it's just, it's glass smooth. I mean, just really, really smooth. The uh, pin here, which I thought was a nice touch, again, just very smooth all the way around to the back, just glass smooth. I mean, there is there is nothing there to complain about. Um, there was a, a void in the burl, but it's burl. There are going to be voids in burl. The lanyard tube. Just great fit and finish all the way around. The chamfering, the end here, how he's uh, decided to angle the end. I mean, everything is just first class, high quality fit and finish. I mean, I just, I don't know how you could ask for more. The, um, <clears throat> the end here, like the finish on the end, it's very much like a screwdriver, like a flathead screwdriver. There's some cham chamfering on the sides here. Again, very, very even. All this is done by hand. There is a bevel, as you can see it's shining a little bit there, on the end of the pry bar, which I find helps really get into some tight places. Um, the opener itself down here is angled very well and allows you to really latch on to any type of um, lids or caps or anything you want to pull off so you can see here oops well i didn't do a good job of it let's let's do it on the other side just latches on pops right off um i don't have any complaints the only thing that i might ask for is a little bit longer handle but as you can see um, this thing is four and a half inches and it's smaller than my hand is so even almost smaller this way so if it was me i might like something that was a little bit longer um but it, it works it does a great job um high quality high fit and finish one one nice touch was this bead it comes with a uh, matching bead very well done as well you can see here that's me um shaking not the uh the pattern on the bead so you can see here that it's very even, very well done. I like the fact that the lanyard does not come tied onto the tool itself because some guys are lanyard guys, some guys aren't. So this gives you some flexibility. If you want to learn how to tie the lanyard, you can just jump onto YouTube and follow an instructional video um, and you'll have your lanyard in no time with a nice matching bead. Overall, the quality of this is amazing. The utility is amazing. This is just a great overall tool. Um, I forgot to cover the jimping here. The jimping is also very even. It's very functional. Um, it's not something that's gonna tear your thumb up, but it definitely grabs your thumb. Um, I don't know if you can see that there. My skin is staying put and my actual thumb is moving. Um, just can't say enough good things about this knife. Um, go check him out. He has an Instagram page, which you can see right there. And as always, guys, I appreciate you all watching. And a lazy man carries a dull knife. 